Greetings folks, Twin Popper here, bringing you yet another in my series and bringing you an actual, real, no kidding, unboxing. So did you ever get the hots for something on the internet just because you saw it? It looked like it might be comfortable, it looks like it might work, uh, and you think, oh, you know, it's only such and such dollars, I think this is like 24 or something like that, but uh, maybe I'll give it a shot because it has all the right pockets and all the right storing necessities and all that other stuff for you. Uh, this is just one such stab in the dark and folks it really is a stab in the dark because when you order something online without ever having touched it with your own hands or anything like that you never know what you're gonna get Forrest so let's just open the box and see this is an actual unboxing the only thing I did was cut this tape right here so uh, we'll take you along on this fantastic journey into what the hell is in here Okay, this is a Bravo belt, by the way, as you can see. Bravo belt. And this says your belt, right? Indeed, it's mine, unless I don't like it. And let's pull it out here. Uh, attractive packaging. That's pretty good. Uh, hand wash in cold water with mild soap. Uh, do not tumble dry. Lay flat to dry. Okay, it makes sense. It's probably nylon or something. And it comes wrapped in a nice little um, Kleenex here, which um, of course I will recycle and use since the weather's getting colder. Oh, and here's the Bravo belt. Bravo. So let's look at what this thing is all about. I ordered this because it had the, uh, the gun pouch right here, right? This is for your firearm. It's two-sided, so you could go uh, left-handed or right-handed. And uh, magazines right here. And it looks like you could fit a wallet or a cell phone in here. Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Now, one of the problems that I have and what made me nervous about this purchase to begin with is that I am fat, at least in the belly. I don't know exactly how this is going to work for me, right? It seems to uh, fasten here with the standard kind of Velcro. This looks like a nice interior. And, uh, oh yeah, there's a lot of surface for the Velcro to cover. Here's the Velcro strip. And it looks like it will fit my girth more comfortably than the last belly band holster that I got. Uh, that last belly band holster was just too tight. And it was a Galco, but uh, I just got, but I got it uh, anyway because I thought, wow, this is gonna be cool. And I never wanted to touch it again because it was just so tight. It squeezed my fat all day long. And when I took off the belt, I looked like a light bulb because it squeezed everything I had up to the top of my body. This thing, though, I'm gonna go ahead and try this thing on and uh, I'll take you with me when I'm doing it. So here we go. Okay, here we go. I got a lighter colored article of clothing on so that you could better see the belt. When I opened this, I had a black t-shirt, so I actually went and changed. Here's the belt. Okay, it looks plenty long enough to fit my girth. And I'll just put it around here. And I'll spare you guys the gore of having to look at my fatness because uh, it's just not necessary and I don't want to lose viewers. I need subscribers. They said that this fits basically everything and it should fit a 1911, right? I brought a 1911 and an extra magazine, right? So here's 1911. Let's just say I put in two magazines. So let's tuck it. Okay, I do not forecast wearing 1911s uh, around all day, but hey, so far so good. This is really comfortable. I can deal with this. Okay, and basically with a thing like this, I would probably have an overshirt, you know, buttoned up halfway or something. Uh, okay, so it looks okay. Ooh, that's right, retention method. Okay, so how about draw? Here we go, let's look at draw with this thing. Okay, I imagine I would have to do something like that with this, right? But that's not a big deal. Comes out okay. Stick them up! Okay, so 1911's in. Two magazines right here, huh? Okay, so these are single stack. These should go in pretty easy. All right. And I would test the cell phone, but it's just not with me. So, okay, all right. I can deal with this. This is great. I have all sorts of room for activities. So, okay, 
that's the 1911 all right that works well so i'm gonna assume that my p30 sk which was just reviewed is going to be comfortable too so let's go ahead and do that let's put p30 sk in here no folks that i ain't loaded so it's gone feels good okay holds it up there snug wow this is pretty good so far so far i'm kind of happy let's put the mags in no problem no problem at all okay i can see this is going to be a bravo belt because so far this feels really comfortable compared to any other belly band i have ever had wow okay so then we can also assume it's going to fit my Walther PPS, also just reviewed. So let's put the PPS in here. And obviously I'll have uh, an, two magazines with this too. Oftentimes, different magazine carriers are uncomfortable. What if I'm carrying the Walther PPS, uh, a 1911, Right. and also my p30sk because you know when you go full gi joe you just can't stop yourself and yeah it could fit more magazines in there so there you go oh i got an idea and my ar-15 let's see if that works it fits an ar-15 mag sort of okay i wouldn't trust an ar-15 mag but uh well you know hey you never know so anyway Probably not meant for the AR-15. But uh, yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, this belt does not feel like it's squeezing me like a tube of toothpaste. And uh, therefore, I do not look like a tube of toothpaste wearing it. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So the Bravo belt, I got it on Amazon, by the way. And it was only like $24. So this is it. This is the Bravo belt. Just wanted to show you. I haven't worn it yet. But I just wanted to do an actual, literal, real unboxing. And that's exactly what I did. So, there you go.